So ironically, we've had a change of weather. We finished the pergola, and of course we wanted to sit out and enjoy it for our first night. But we've had a really strange set of weather conditions come, and it's meant that it's been a bit wet. We have been out here, but it's been cold. But um, I've had a few questions amongst all the lovely feedback for the pergola. So thank you very much. It was a big project, as you know, and uh, we enjoy doing it, actually, and we're going to enjoy more using it. But uh, we've had a few questions about how much it cost and why did we scratch build something and, and not buy something off of the shelf? So I thought I'd do a breakdown, a very quick breakdown. So it's a short video, this one, just to give you an idea of how much something like this would cost you. Um, and it's sort of French prices and materials here are expensive. So it may not be comparable with our friends in Australia and Canada and the United States and England. However, the costs are what they are and we're stuck with it. Um, I think the lesson that we've learned is that doing something like this ourselves is much cheaper than buying something off the shelf. And we couldn't really buy a conventional kit because we could only run posts along one side. Obviously it connects into the property, into the cottage, uh, whereas most of them are freestanding, you know, you can put them anywhere. And of course for our shutters opening, do you remember at the beginning of the first video we talked about um, the, the joists coming in, the connections coming into the house were dictated by the height of the shutters that opened and closed. So you couldn't put a vertical post down because the shutter would come out and foul against it. So that probably precluded buying one off the shelf anyway. But nevertheless, we wanted just to see how much something like this would cost. So let's run through it with you and uh, we'll give you an idea. Okay, let's begin. The first thing were those decking boards that run all the way along the top of the pergola there. We had 60 in total, and that's what they looked like. They were 354 euros. And then we had the joists that sat on them, the six by fives. They were 15 euros each. Then we had the upright posts. These are the six by sixes. Nice and cheap they were at 15 euros and 90. And we sat those in instant concrete and we had three bags of those at 11 euros per bag. And the posts themselves were sat on post anchors. They were 11 euros each and we needed six of those, one for each of the posts. Next we had the grommets that held down the poly roof panels and a pack of 50 of those. We needed two packs at 11 euros each and then the panels themselves very expensive 66 euros each coming in at 528 euros and at 990 each were the joining strips that connect those two panels together and then the decorative pieces the lighting the led lighting from our local action store at 795 and the bowl packs at 19 euros each we had three of those in total if you remember, we had to run some damp proof membrane across the gutters to stop the splashes into the seating area. And finally, we had some timber that we had knocking about from stock and also some fixings. These were the angle brackets, the screws, the nuts and bolts and so on. And we factored in 150 for each of those items. So that gives us a grand total of 1819 euros and 35 cents so how does that compare to others well there's a few other kits you can buy as i mentioned they're not as strong and they don't look as nice in my view and there's not as much timber but this one here is the closest it's a third of the size and it's coming in at 1500 euros so all in all we think at 1800 odd euros we've done very well and we're extremely happy Thank you once again for all your lovely feedback and looking forward to the next project with you. Bye bye.